Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This video is all about the reporting in sales module of Odoo 17. So reporting is basically an essential feature for every business organization. If your business organization is using Odoo, then Odoo is providing a sales analysis separately for the sales section of your business. So inside this reporting of sales module, you have different options like sales, salesperson, product and customer. That is, you can get a report based on each of these options. So if you want a report based on a salesperson or based on products and customers, everything is available inside the reporting section. As well as the different section, you have measures. So you can also use these measures to clarify your report. So there is much more inside the reporting section. Let's get inside the sales module of Odoo 17 and see how the reporting works. So now let's see the reporting section, which is the sales reporting of the sales module. So for that, first you need to open the sales module over here. And you have different menus under sales module and you have to go to the reporting menu. Under reporting menu, you have sub menus called sales, salespersons, products and customers. So this actually gives you a uh, analysis of, you know, different things like sales, salesperson, products and customers individually under each sub menu. First, let's go to the sales reporting. Okay, now if you go under the sales reporting, you will get the sales analysis, which has default filters set over there. Okay, so you have the non-recurring sale orders and also orders from the last 365 days. Okay, which is the last year. Now, you can see the graphical analysis of the sales. Okay, so basically three types of graphs are available under the reporting section of Odoo, which is the line chart, which you can see right now. Then you have the pie chart as well as the bar chart okay so these are the three different types of graphs which is available inside the sales uh, analysis okay which is the reporting section okay now if you want to see the descending order of the same you can do that and just unselecting it and if you want to see the ascending order means you can do that as well this is actually the stack view if you want the i mean if you can you know just disable the stack view from there as well that's the bar chart. If you just go to the line chart, means you will have an option which is called the cumulative view. So that's the cumulative view. I'm just disabling that. So these are the different kinds of, you know, graphs. So just by looking into this graph, you will get a rough idea about what's happening inside your sales. What's happening or what are the status of your sales which is taking place. So here currently we have the order date. Now, if you want to change the measure, you can simply do that from here. Okay, so this actually shows you the untaxed total. Okay, so I'm changing it to quantity delivered. So currently, this will be showing you the count of the quantity which is delivered. Okay, and similarly, you can change it to anything that is quantity which are to be delivered. So quantity to deliver, you can see that here. And you have the quantity invoiced. So the quantity which are invoiced and quantity to invoice. That can also be viewed here. Same as the case of bar chart and pie chart. So here it shows the quantity to invoice which are in different colors and different colors represents different dates. Okay. So here I'm changing it to quantity ordered. See the graph has changed. Okay. So let's put it to untaxed amount to invoice. So whatever you need, whatever you need inside the graph or whatever you need the graph to depict to you, you can choose that from the measures over here. So that's the measures which you have inside the sales analysis. Now, if you want to insert this particular thing into a spreadsheet. So currently I have a graph, which is the pie chart right in front of me. I'm willing to put it or insert it inside a spreadsheet. What will you do? You have an option over here, which is insert in spreadsheet. Click on that. And then you have two options. Either you can put it in a blank spreadsheet or you can insert it to an existing spreadsheet. So I'm planning to put it inside a blank spreadsheet. So choose from the options and then confirm it. So you can see new spreadsheet created in documents. So it will directly take you or it will redirect you to the spreadsheet. So from here, you can drag and, you know, set the position. You can also change the size and all. See, just by dragging and dropping, you can do that. So it's that simple. So if you're willing to, you know, insert it into a spreadsheet, it's very simple. Okay, simply click on the insert in spreadsheet button inside the sales analysis. So I'm going back. So that's how you insert it into the spreadsheet. Okay, 
so here as you know you have graph as well as pivot view okay so this is basically the graphical view which have three charts like the line chart pie chart and bar chart now let's move on to the pivot table okay so that's a different kind of view inside odo 70 pivot view so pivot view is basically a tabular view it's simply a table okay so you have the option to add measures towards this table so if i'm adding quantity delivered see that will also be added over here okay so whatever you want you can add it inside this table by simply you know selecting so here in case of pivot table you can select multiple measures at a time so simultaneously multiple um, you know me measures will be showed inside the table you have the option to flip the axis okay so here you have different teams so based on teams you can see okay you have sales pre-sales website so based on corresponding to each team you can see the untaxed total the quantity delivered and all so if you want to add measures if i'm adding this quantity to invoice you can see one more is added quantity to invoice okay it's that simple you also have the option to insert this into spreadsheet this is the you know same way how we did in case of graphical analysis how we inserted a graph into spreadsheet simply by clicking on it and then you have two options which is to you know choose from the existing ones or create a new blank spreadsheet and then you can simply confirm and add it to it then you have the option to expand all and also you can download the excel x6 file okay so that's the sales analysis now let's go to reporting and go to the other section which is the sales person so this is basically a sales analysis by sales person see here you have okay so here you can see it's by default a group by is given which is sales person and also the order date is given over here so as i said before here also we have the analysis based on sales person you can see the different sales person which are there in your organization so you have mark demo michel admin and on and untaxed total or untaxed amount corresponding to each sales person is given here so here sales person is the core and the data will be you know based on all these sales person over here so you can you know choose the measure from here like quantity to invoice i'm changing it to quantity to invoice or even quantity delivered whatever it is okay so that can be chosen from the measures you have the line chart of the same as well as the pie chart so in case of line chart you have stacked and cumulative view see this is the cumulative view i'm removing stack and then in case of bar chart you have the stack view this can be viewed in ascending as well as descending order okay so that's the um you know graphical view of the sales person and i mean sales analysis by sales person and then you have the pivot table of the same so this is the pivot table now here you have measures to add on so i'm adding quantity invoiced and also delivered quantity so simply flip the axis from you okay so you can expand all and also download the excel s6 and also you can insert it to the spreadsheet from here so this is the place where you can choose the group by filter and favorites okay so favorites is you can set uh you know a filter over there and that can be used uh further if you set it as favorites and then you have the group by section where you have group by salesperson sales team customer and so on and then you have the filters over here okay so currently it is actually you know put as the uh, group by salesperson so that's the reason why this comes depends on or depending on a salesperson so that's the salesperson then you have products this is actually a sales analysis based on products so you have different products over here okay so this is actually a pie chart which shows the sales analysis based on products so you can see the untaxed total of each and individual products over here in the pie chart so i'm changing into line chart you can see the different product and product variants and all over here here you have the bar chart see the name of the different products are given here under each of these charts i mean the bars okay now i'm going to change it to quantity to invoice based on different products so data corresponding to each product will be shown here in case of sales analysis based on products okay so that's the differences first when we went to the sales section it was an overall thing right overall analysis of the sales and when you took the sales person's reporting it was the sales analysis based on sales person 
Now, when you come to this product section, this is actually a sales analysis which is based on products. Okay, so it's pretty much easy to understand or analyze everything regarding sales because it gives you like uh, gives you an option to view it based on salesperson, products, overall things, and also you have one more thing which is custom. So Odo is making our work pretty much easier by giving you more options to analyze the sales which is taking place inside your organization. So that's the sales analysis uh, based on products. So this is the graphical view. So as I said before, it has everything which we saw in the previous graphical analysis as well. So you have the option to add measures, insert into spreadsheet, and then you have the line chart, pie chart. Also, you have the cumulative view, stacked view, ascending, descending, and so on. And then you have the pivot view, which is the table of view of the same graphical analysis. So this is it. And you can simply switch it from here. Okay. So on this side, you can see the products and also the untaxed total based on each product can be viewed over here. And that's the sales analysis based on products. Then you have a customers. So this is actually uh, the final thing which comes which comes under reporting, which is sales analysis by customer. So this basically does the analysis based on the customer. So you can see different customers over here and the untaxed total corresponding to each customer is shown here. If you want to see something else related to customers, you can simply choose it from here. So I'm choosing quantity delivered to each customer that can be viewed over here. Quantity which are to be invoiced corresponding to each customer that is also shown here. Similarly, whatever you want to, you know, whatever you want an idea about that can be chosen from the measures. And if you want to insert it into spreadsheet, you can simply click on insert in spreadsheet and also add it into spreadsheet. So here's the line chart and pie chart of the same. You have the stacked as well as the cumulative view, ascending as well as the descending view. Here also you have a pivot view. So under the pivot view, you have the, you know, customers over here. You can simply flip access from here. So you can see different customers, the untaxed total and all those things. Okay. So that's the sales analysis based on customer. Okay. So that's all about the reporting section. So the reporting of sales module actually gives you a clear idea of the sales taking place inside your organization and you can easily manage everything regarding sales, salespersons, products and customers. So that was all about the reporting of Odoo 17 sales. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.